So once again, thank you so much for giving us your time and letting us pick your brain. I think it's going to be very valuable. So can you just tell us a little bit about your personal story, like how you got to where you are today? You don't have to go extremely in detail, but give us the overview yeah. from player to what you're doing today, helping other yeah, players. Sure. Sure thing. Um, so a real top line summary of my experience so far. Um, I initially started off uh, playing in the UK as every you know child does. Um, the boyhood dream is obviously to become a pro footballer. Um, you know, kind of unluckily for me during my, my kind of teen years, the most crucial points during your your your, your um, upbringing, I never had an opportunity opportunity to play at any pro clubs. Um, but that didn't, that didn't deter me. Uh, by the time I reached 18 and I was playing at a semi pro side in the UK, I decided that you know I wanted to take my talents abroad. Um, I had an ex excellent opportunity to um, go over to the US where I first started off at a junior college in Seattle. Um, for me, that was a great experience. It allowed me to you know, test myself with players from all over the world and further enhance and develop my skills. Um, we had an, an award-winning program at the school that I started off at. Um, you know, made a bit of history and then I ended up transferring to complete my time at West Virginia Tech University. And during that period of time as well, you know, we had a, a great team who was national champions, you know, back to back. Um, but I always wanted to take, you know, myself to a, a step further. Um, unfortunately, I was made ineligible um, for one season. Um, and at that point in time, it was kind of like a crossroad, like either go back to the UK and just kind of sack it off or I could just use it as an opportunity to improve myself during the, the free time that I had. Um, I chose to do the latter, done so well and then I ended up playing pro football at the end of it. So um, I got recruited from the US, um, ended up going to Scandinavia um, and playing pro ball for a bit, um, you know, in, in two different parts of Sweden. Very cool. And now, what are you doing today? Sports agency. Yeah, so, um, you know, off the back of our experience, one of the biggest things that we found was that there was a lack of support for athletes once they were actually placed into these American universities. So we wanted to create a service which is very much tailored around each athlete that we work with. Um, and we've kind of got a three-step process, which is preparation, placement, and support. Um, and our biggest value that we see is not just in placing the athlete to America and saving them the most amount of money, but it's about how we work with them for the entire four-year experience and provide them with exit strategies and exit routes. And that's off the back of what we've done on our own accord you know the trials that where I had to drive eight hours from you know Virginia to Florida to go to combines you know showing people exactly what to do and also what not to do because there are a lot of you know bad run events out there and um, all of that hindsight just provided with the athletes that are coming for our program amazing so this is exactly what we want to hear about can you just talk about you said Preparation, placement, support, is that correct? Yeah, correct. So, Could you kind of um, break those down a little bit? Yeah, cool. So before any of our athletes go over to America, um, they have to go for a four-week training camp. Now, that is to just ensure that they're fit and ready to go over to the U.S. and perform. Purely because we understand how rigorous and um, preseason is in the US and it's not somewhere that you go to get fit it's somewhere where you need to go actually being fit so we've taken it out of our athletes hands and provided them with a platform to get themselves fit get themselves sharp and get themselves ready in terms of placement we find that they're best suited university on average we manage to negotiate scholarships between 65 to 100 percent off the total price um, and our athletes pay you know uh, in comparison to the cost of studying in the UK, um, we're looking at about 95% pay under the actual price, so it's a significant saving. And then, as I mentioned, the most valuable part for us is the support element. So we work with them for the entire four-year experience. If they wanted yeah. to transfer from one university to another, we handle and facilitate that operation as well. So, you know, they become part of our family as such. Very good. So, um, can you just speak? I've got a lot of questions already. But how are you negotiating these prices? Because, I mean, if I'm just a kid, I'm contacting the coach by myself. I'm trying to set up everything by myself. Chances are I'm paying full price. What are you doing differently? Um, firstly, it is really understanding the recruitment process from a coach's perspective, understanding what they're looking for for each position. So we've got like a, um, a manual as such for each position, what type of video footage we need to see, what do we need to uncover. If you're a fullback, for example, um, you know, what is your positioning like, what's your recovery runs, do you overlap, can you put a ball in the box? All of these different things need to be showcased in a highlight tape. But not only is it that, we typically play our athletes in top level uh, showcase games in order for us to 
to, prof- to, to, to provide a coach with a, with a actual concrete opinion on each athlete that we're working with. So, for example, in the past, we played games against the likes of Arsenal, Dagenham Redbridge, yeah. uh, Leighton Orio, Chivas USA, and most recently we played against a influencer team called uh, Rebel FC. So these games, the university coaches can trust us that their level of opposition that they're competing against is going to be of the equivalent standard as if they were going to, to go to the US. Mm-hmm. As opposed to an individual who's sending, let's say, their highlight tape and it's showing all their clips, but who are they really performing against, right? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. 